Hi, welcome to the presentation on our KPA publisher. In this presentation, I would like to demonstrate a new feature that has been introduced in release 11.1.9, which is Web Central Content as Delivery Channel. I'll use the term WCC to refer to Web Central Content in this entire presentation. I'll begin with a high level overview about WCC integration as a new delivery channel. Then I'll cover some of the concepts of WCC and the configurations to be done on WCC site. Next, we'll look into the configuration of the newly introduced delivery channel in PI Publisher, that is content server delivery channel. We'll look into the changes in the data model. Then we'll schedule a normal job and a bursting job to demonstrate how this new delivery channel will be available to end users. And as a last step, we will check the delivered reports in WCC. So we'll start with WCC integration overview. This slide is a bird's eye view of a publisher end-to-end -end functionality wherein data is retrieved from a variety of data sources and using one of the layer template, it can generate report in multiple output format and deliver to a variety of destinations. In 11.1.9 release, we have added content server as another destination. To get started, the first task would be for the WCC administrator to set up the custom metadata security access for the users and to configure WCC server uh, to make connection with BI Publisher. Once WCC is configured, BI administrator can configure the delivery channel for uh, content server and enable custom metadata if needed. Once connection between BI Publisher and WCC is established, the report author can design the report and the data model to set up the custom metadata, bursting query, etc. And when the report is ready, a user with a BI consumer role can now submit a normal job or a bursting job. These jobs on successful completion will deliver the content to WCC. The BI consumer can view the job history and job history details to see the job output files. Based on authorization, the user can also log into WCC server and view the document. So now we'll look into the uh, setting up of WCC. The concepts to be covered in this section are listed here. Metadata is the underlying definition or <coughs> description about our data, uh, which for WCC, it's about document. So metadata in WCC are the document attributes such as content ID, author, etc. There are two types of metadata, standard and custom. Standard metadata are the core set of metadata for any content. Uh, example for standard metadata would be content ID, title, author, release date, expiration date, etc. These metadata are stored in the revisions table as you see in the image right side uh, with internal field names having a prefix of T. Custom metadata are the user-defined metadata. For example, you may want to add fields such as account number, bill number, invoice number, customer ID, etc. Uh, as your own defined uh, metadata. Uh, these metadata fields have an internal field name prefix of X in the doc meta table of the database. Content profiles are used to selectively include or reorder metadata fields to produce targeted check-in update, content, etc. in WCC. Content profile has two components, rules and trigger. Uh, a content profile can have one or more rules. A rule is a set of metadata fields. So as in the diagram, you can see rule one has five metadata fields. Rule two has three metadata fields. And you can see some of the metadata fields are common in these rules. So when we connect from BI Publisher to WCC, we are able to retrieve the content profile list in the data model. When the content profile is selected, we see a list of rules underneath. And once rule is selected, we can retrieve the, uh, the set of metadata uh, defined in the rule. Rule controls how the metadata fields will appear on the check-in form, uh, content info, search, etc. For example, if they will be an editable field or a required field or a hidden field, etc. And trigger is used when multiple rules are to be evaluated at a time when the document matches the trigger value for a profile. 
we can define the access of the documents in WCC based on three metadata fields, uh, document type, security group, accounts. Accounts is optional. So here, uh, the document type has been defaulted to document in BI Publisher uh, application. Uh, it has other values such as digital media, application, binary, etc. So we will we'll discuss all these uh, in the uh, coming slides. A security group is a group of content items that have the same level of security. This can be seen as a folder. Uh, in the first image, we can see a security group HR docs. And there are three roles, admin, guest, and contributor with uh, different permissions. Admin has read, write, delete admin access. Guest has read, write access. And contributors has read, write access. So we can see that three roles, they all have access to the same uh, security group, but they have different permissions. In the second image, we can see end users is a role that has been given access to two security groups. For end docs, the role has RWD permissions, while for HR docs, it has R only permission. So one role can have different permissions for different security groups. Now in the last image, User Joe Smith has a role of end users, so it inherits the RWD permission to ENG docs. And since end users role has only R access, which is read access, so Joe Smith has only read access to HR docs. Next, we'll see uh, how uh, you can create security group in WCC. So uh, in the web center content uh, once you log in as administrator um, and bring up the admin applet uh, you can click on the user administration icon and then uh, bring up this user admin uh, window wherein under security menu you'll see this permissions by group when you click on that it will open up this window here you can see there are default public and secure out of the box groups created uh, to add more groups, you need to click on the add group button and you can give a new group name and a description and click OK. So you can add something like accounting here and uh, we can uh, next go to security uh, menu again and then go to permissions by role. And uh, this will open up the window where you can see the roles on the left side and the group uh, accounting, which has been just created now. So the existing roles can be given permission to this group. So you can click on edit permission and uh, provide the permissions like say read, write, delete, etc. You can also create a new role. So you can add something like an accounting clerk and uh, uh, you know you can add uh, permissions to the new role for the security group. So this works very similar to how BI Publisher catalog works wherein uh, a folder gets created and the folder is given permissions and there are uh, you know roles which gets added to the uh, to the folder and those roles are defined you know certain permissions uh, either you know some of the standard permissions or you can use some custom permissions uh, for the catalog so similarly security group uh, works using the roles and permissions Accounts work with the leaf level access. So if you have been given access to accounting slash receivables slash current, so you are here. So you will not be able to access documents which is available in the past uh, accounts. Similarly, if you have an access at the uh, level of receivables, so you will be able to access documents under past and current, but you'll not be able to have access to anything under payables. And how do you enable the uh, accounts? So you go to admin applet and uh, uh, under admin server, click on general configuration and you'll see this option to enable the accounts. And that's where it brings up the predefined accounts under security. You will be able to bring up this window and then click on add and you can add multiple accounts. Now accounts is associated with the user so unlike how security group was associated with the roles uh, each user uh, 
can be directly given account access and when you click on add you can select which account level you are giving access to and the associated permissions for example read write delete etc so what will happen if you give both security group and accounts uh, level of access to a user so this diagram shows that if a user for example admin user uh, has uh, you know it inherits the admin role so this admin role has access read write delete uh, admin access under finance security group and the user is directly having uh, access to the payables account with the read write permission so in this case the read write access coming from the account takes precedence and therefore the account becomes the primary permission here so this completes the part one of this session in part two we will go through the demonstration of uh, uh, the wcc delivery channel thank you much